Stan Gibalisco here. Whiskey One Golf Victor Ham Radio Operator and Station. Brought to you from the wilds of the Black Hills of South Dakota. Recently, uh, I noticed the improved conditions on the high frequency bands, courtesy of our venerable sunspots. And it occurred to me that I might want to try getting on 6 meters, the 50 megahertz band. My uh, transceiver, the ICOM IC746 Pro, will work on 6 meters, but not very well with the 20 meter antenna that I've described in some other videos. However, the feed line, which goes up to the deck, uh, has a PL259 connector on the end, and with a barrel connector and a little bit more RG8X coax, it, I uh, have implemented a 6 meter dipole antenna. My deck is approximately 15 feet wide. That's more than enough room for a simple 6 meter dipole. I think that most decks probably are also more than wide enough. I screwed a couple of hooks into the walls at the end of the deck. Fortunately they are made of wood. And I found to my delight that the previous owner of the house had already put the holes there for me and they were just the right size. I could screw these hooks right in. Can't promise you the same luck. And if you got concrete walls, as many condominium complexes have, that might prove a bit of a challenge as well. I took some lamp cord, ordinary zip lamp cord, and cut it to the proper length for six meters. A rough calculation would, would yield 234 divided by 50, which equals roughly 4.68 feet on either side of the dipole. Turns out the, the you'll have to adjust that slightly in order to get the exact length. However, the coaxial cable comes up. I used a small breadboard as the center insulator, connected the lamp cord wires thus by wrapping them and soldering them inside of the breadboard to hold them there. Just loop, made a little loop on the end of each of the wires and got a couple of bungee cords. You can buy those at department stores like Walmart. Uh, a couple of bungee cords that you could trim to the proper length. So approximately 4 feet 8 inches on either side. You'll have to trim that, as I said, in order to get exactly the right length. And then these are bungee cords that you can adjust until you get a good tension on the dipole. The RG8X, I think that full size uh, RG8U or 213U cable would be a little heavy, It'd probably be a little harder to keep that up. This is only about about six feet off of the uh, deck, but the deck itself is about eight feet further off the ground and I've got a clear shot to all of the southern and southeastern United States as well as South America. So as I'm making this video in the middle of the summer I'm kind of waiting on the September-October trans-equatorial season to see if I can get any F-layer communications on 6 meters to South America. One challenge I face, unfortunately, is 
human-made noise. A lot of the wireless devices that proliferate around the vicinity these days, in addition to a nearby cell phone tower, don't make my location terribly friendly for communications on any frequency. However, maybe I'll get a break. Maybe these people turn some of that stuff off for a few minutes. I've had that happen before. Get some good luck. Work some South Americans this fall on 50 megahertz. Stan Gibalisco, Whiskey One, Golf Victor, out.